John, what Amazon problem can I help you with? I have a client who's a little bit different than most Amazon sellers. They actually, they sell baby food and baby food related products and they manufacture their products basically to order. So they're not able to take advantage of FBA. One of their major issues that they're currently having at the moment is since they make their food um, to order, they have to ship it in frozen containers. And so that's obviously very expensive. At the moment on the product detail page, not all of their listings show this, but there's a shipping cost of $10. And they're trying to figure out a way to where uh, they can show customers if they actually purchase more products from them that they will have free shipping. This is their current top product in Amazon. It's Super Sammies. It's basically a frozen sandwich for children. It's comparable to like Uncrustables. For the pack of one right there, it says $9.99. When is the shipping fee to go away? If they order a pack of three. Well, for the Super Sammies, they like to sell just the pack of one, which is actually like three or four sandwiches, and then the pack of three. But since this is their current bestseller in Amazon, and they sell a lot of the pack of one, and this is what we currently advertise to. Like this is the ASIN that we use to advertise on uh, Amazon. So when people are seeing their ads, you know, it, it does reflect that nine ninety nine shipping. What are you trying to accomplish? Well, one of the things that they tried to do is they tried to put that information on the main image stack with a, a supplementary image where they say, hey, it's free shipping if purchased more than thirty nine ninety nine. But Amazon's algorithm is currently pulling that image every time they upload it because it's just basically text box. So I switched to my graphic designer and what we're trying to do is maybe if we uh, have a graphic where it has free shipping and maybe it's not like perfectly angled towards, you know, uh, the screen. You could try. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just letting you know if, if you do and you get pushback, that's going to be the why. Maybe what you could do is just have like, just call it a promo. Be like, hey, when you buy three, you get free shipping. Because the only other option you have is not to sell the one pack, but you must sell the one pack because people look at the price and it gets them there. And is this all FBM because it's frozen? All other parentages are FBM except for this Mighty Bytes one. Um, they're okay. able to send this one into FBA. So I unfortunately don't think there is a perfect solution to your challenge with the shipping. But because there's FBM, what I would recommend doing is having them ship an insert with it and say, hey, get free shipping when you buy a pack of three and then give them a short link, right? So the link needs to be as short as possible so somebody can type it in or a QR code, something. And then just have it load the pack of three Amazon listing. Now you're gonna get pushed back on this one because A, you gotta create a product insert, B, then their warehouse has to be smart enough to know when to use the product insert because they don't wanna freaking put the product insert on a non-Amazon order. It's a dead on arrival suggestion. I just wanna be abundantly clear with that. Like you're never gonna get that to go through, but you should pitch it. This is the best idea to help you with the shipping conundrum on people that buy a pack of one, have a product insert that says like, hey, buy a pack of three, get free shipping, and then go here.